Previously on Luke's Big Brother 16, Mitch won the power of veto. Mitch and Gabby agreed that Austin was the biggest threat in the house. Mitch wanted to veto Mac, but Gabby wanted Mitch to veto Kaylee. Gabby assured Kaylee that Mitch would save her with the veto, while Mitch was heavily advised not to use the veto. After gathering some votes around the house, Mitch decided that he would save Mac against Gabby's wishes. And at the veto ceremony, Austin tried to play the fake veto that Mitch gave him to save Kaylee. In mere seconds after he was told that his veto was fake, Austin was named as the replacement nominee. but someone used their veto on me, thank God. Um, so I'm safe. And also, someone used the you win a free veto thing that we made. So, pretty good. Oh, yeah, I'm um, so The tea. The tea. The tea. The tea. The tea. The tea. I'm literally oh, so so This is what they got. I thought you were like objecting and you were like, I object this veto. And I was like, I don't think you can do that. I don't think you can do that. What? I don't know what you're saying. I, what did his, I didn't know what his face say whenever they were like, that's not real. I'm like, what's he doing? I just laugh. So I feel like he, he made that with the intention of like, you know, like, I'm going to do this. Yeah. 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 Y
The messenger always gets shot. <laughs> but just saying. <laughs> because it is the first round, so nobody really knows either of us. Yeah. And I know that I'm just like a really friendly person, so I love to make friends, not necessarily like as alliances or trying to win the game, but like in general, if this was a normal day, I would have still acted the same way. So I feel like a lot of people come off like, oh, he's trying to win this, like we need to get him out. But when in all actuality, obviously I'm dumb as fuck. So like, I just get played. Okay, so I found this advantage and um, I didn't know what to do with the box, so I was gonna leave it. I was gonna hide it somewhere and then I was gonna leave it somewhere and I was like, wait, there's no point in doing that if I don't put something in it. And so I could tell that Austin's alliance was pretty, pretty strong. Um, so I decided to target him under the guise of trying to extend the olive branch because I had kind of like, that was the reason he got that first HOH challenge. And so he found it and uh, he, I knew that that was his uh, alliance member of the team, whatever name was. So he tried to use it and failed and then he got put up. I kind of wish that um, we wouldn't have been putting up him up this round just so he could have that in his pocket trying to use it down the road. I feel like maybe it puts a target on me, but at the same time maybe people were respecting the campaign a little bit more so I want to work with me. Who knows? We'll see. Yeah, Austin just got played. Um, just a part of the plan. Uh, these are going to be your finalists right here. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's all I got to say. You know, I'm not cutting this man's throat until the end. Nah. At the end, it's going to be... It's going to be a war. Yeah. War of attrition. Yeah, you're going down. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm winning the, the prize money of... Half a million? Yeah. Nah, I'll, I'm good with the 250000 yeah. That's good enough for me. But this is the main alliance in the house. Oh, yeah. There's not an alliance better than the alliance we have right here. Um, so just want to let you guys know. Um, just kind spoiler. Of, yeah, spoiler alert. Yeah, sorry. Uh, one but... of us are winning. So. I knew this man wrote that. I knew you wrote that shit because whenever you pulled out an idol, you're the only person who's won any sort of advantage in the game. And so you're like, Why hey, man. Why did you take it from Prudem? I don't know. But that... Was good. I didn't do that. I mean, Pruden did it. I went past Austin right away. It's like he gave you that. It's like Pruden. You didn't do that? No. Hey, Pru who? Who's that? Mitchell. Mitchell. Mitchell wrote that? Yeah. And gave it to him. Yeah. But here's the thing, though. So you don't want to be known as the person who did that crap. So he's like a. Yeah, no, person. yeah. He's like a snake now. Yeah. yeah. What? I bet you did it. Are you lying? I didn't do right? it. I definitely didn't do it. You didn't do it? How would I do it? I catch it. Like, that puts a target on his back. I don't want to yeah, say, yeah. you don't want to have a target and you don't want to be the one to put, because whoever's the head of house on the next round, you don't want them to nominate you. Absolutely. So, in this point, they're going to nominate yeah. Mitchell, probably, yeah. and maybe somebody else. But um, uh, right. I have some tea. Oh, I was to tea. Wait, what are y'all talking about? It? We're, we're just we're talking just about, like, who wrote like, that. Oh, I know who wrote it. Mitchell? Yeah. Also, he's telling everyone that he did, and we just messed with it. Wow. And I know he wrote it because he so you right. when I did it? No, no, you're good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna put it out there. I'm voting for Austin. So what I have, what Gabby told me, but I don't, I can't really trust her because she told me that I wasn't gonna be on the elimination seat, and I was. Oh, wow. Um. Yeah. So what she told me is that everybody wants Austin to go. Right. Because like, and they're like targeting the ambassadors, which I understand because like we're too close. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, it was all about having both of you on the block and including this. They had, like, no matter what happened. Right. It would break. Why did they just nominate? Why did she nominate him to begin with? That's a good question. I, th I think because she, well, she told me she didn't nominate him to begin with because she didn't want an obvious target on his back. So she thought, like, by putting me on the block and then, like, getting him on there with me oh, would break sense. us up because we were, like, too good yeah. together. Whenever I spoke with Gabby, she said that she didn't feel too good about Matt. Um, yeah. But I was trying to convince her, like, no, like, Mac is, like, you know, a good That's what she to told have. me as well. She told me she didn't yeah. know a little bit about Mac, but she also told me, like, the number one target was Austin. Right. Yeah, I think it's smart, now that we have Austin on the block, just to get rid of this big social threat, like, early. Right. And I just feel like, you know, we've had good chat, we've had good banter, but, like, I just feel like he's out for me. He's just the other side of the house. I right? haven't talked to him a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've just like, start. I've chatted with him, you know. I've never had a conversation like this with him. Right. And it's... At this point in the game, if you haven't had this type of conversation with someone, you, that's your enemy. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, like, we know that we're good. Right. I just think it's important to have numbers. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I definitely get the strategy though to like break it apart. Yeah. I understand that. But you know, you know where my vote's going. Yeah, yeah it's going to Austin. Yeah, right. definitely second. Low key though, low key, like y'all 
we have to like lay game. If Gabby's still around, Gabby's a snake. Dude, she she's. A, I mean, like, no, no so GFG, small. but she's a snake. She snaked the hell out of me. Yeah, I feel like she's oh, so. She said she's a snake. No, I feel like she's <laughs> like, <laughs> wow. This is she's sure. playing, like, she's, she's like so smart. She's playing a good game. She's, she's like, like oh, scary. Yeah, she's playing a good it's game. Like, she's an actor, too, so. You're right. If she's in the top three, she's winning, I feel like. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah, for sure. So, like, you do not want to bring her to the top three. But we love her, right? Yeah. And no, I love Gabby, but I'm like. But she also, like, you don't know what she's going to do. I can't tell if I'm envious of her or if I'm a hater. I think that's more envious. <laughs> Literally, I walked out the room. Like, okay, so what I was told by Gabby is that they're going to eliminate all the masters first. <sighs> um, so that her strategy was to get Austin and I on the same, um, like, chopping block because they're eliminating all the ambassadors first. Because we have two strong personalities and they don't like it. <laughs> um, so we will be the first to go. So the hate extends. <laughs> so I'm just telling you guys to know. So you can, however you cast your vote, I understand, just know that you guys are next. So you have to play to that. Oh, oh, it definitely does make sense. Because oh, whenever that's, that's, that's why I said, that's why I did not vote to have people say who they knew. Because I knew that they were going to, because we were the strongest of the people because there were four of us who all knew each other. So that's why I said, I don't want us to say who we know. Because I knew that we all knew each other and that it would look like we were going to like kiki. Next. So it seems like we have to work a lot more hard to win these HOH challenges. Yeah. I thought that we would. Most definitely, because they're going to ultimately just put all of us on the seats to be eliminated. That took so much time and energy to make a fake note. <laughs> I know, but, and also, um, I don't know, I can't trust Gabby, what she says, because like I thought we were cool. Like she said, right. like to the end, like ride or die. Um, Could me and Gabby walked in together. Right. right. So I thought Gabby and I were cool, and then she put me up because she said that they're going to eliminate all the ambassadors. But she said that she told me that everybody's scared of Austin, so they're going to try to get him out. But I don't know if she's just lying to me because, like, she's lied to me before. Yeah, yeah. So I don't trust anything she's saying, but she did tell me that she, they're all going after Austin. So I was not shocked. She didn't have to think about who she was going to eliminate. She's like, Austin. Hmm. Interesting. But yeah, they're going for the ambassadors first. So you guys are next. That is so. Yeah. They hate us because they hate us. <laughs> so it's just come to my attention that um, everyone's goal in this game is to eliminate all of the LSU ambassadors. So that being me, Dash, Kaylee, and Austin. Pretty much the reason is because we all have big personalities. Like, sorry, I'm fun. So for those of you watching at home, um, episode 5, through the finale, maybe, read the uh, Cliff's Notes. It doesn't seem like there's going to be much to really um, do here, because we do. It is Austin and I against each other. Um, and so why I was told throughout the whole process is that they are going to go after the LSU ambassadors first and that Austin is a big social threat. And so I was told that they're going to save me and I'll vote out Austin, but um, I don't know because like I can't trust anybody to be quite honest. So I don't, obviously they're not going to come up to me and tell me that they're voting against me. So I have no idea what to expect. I kind of am expecting to be evicted this next round on the first one. How tragic, but... It happens um, in my campaign. I did mention the fact that Austin is like loyal to everybody, but that's like sketchy. So I don't really know what to think. Um, I feel, I just don't know because everybody told me that they're loyal to me, but I don't think so anymore. I think literally all my alliances have been broken apart and I'm really kind of pissed off at Gabby because I thought that we were going to be fine, but I guess not. She really fucking snaked me. Um, I guess that's it. I understand Gabby's maneuvering because, like, she's in it for selfish reasons, but, like, what a bitch move, you know? I feel like the girls should stay together, but that's just my opinion, and that's all I have to say for now. Um, I might be seeing this again when I am doing my eviction interview. So, bye for now. <laughs> I, think, I think some people might be gunning for you. Who's some people? Not a small group of people. Austin's group. Yeah. There's a yeah. lot of people who think you wrote that letter, but that looks shady. Yeah. I mean, I did. I'm just, like, <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, try to get into the top four. Well, it technically macro it, but.
I mean, yeah. Bad hand run. yeah. Like, Austin just got absolutely played. He tried to play an <laughs> idol for someone. It was fake. Whoever, I don't know if you wrote it, if you wrote it, if you wrote it. Dude, it I wouldn't have all that shit at all. It I didn't, didn't crap. look, it That's didn't work, here. and he sat down. He was already embarrassed at that point. And then he gets put up on the block. Like, that is like a double smack to the face. So, whoever did that to him, he's definitely gunning, right? Oh, so, if that was you who did that, to he's, gonna, he's gunning for you, 100%. He's like going home, so. Right, so you need to, like, make sure, like, yeah, like, like you said, like, win, and then, like, try to, like, stay, you know. I didn't think he was going to use it this early. Obviously, like if you're with me, I'm not afraid to make a fool of myself in front of everyone <laughs> to do what I can to save you. Like that's straight off the bag. Or I'm like one that's like, I don't care bringing attention to myself. I don't care if I embarrass myself. But like once you're for me and I know you're for me, like we're in it to win it. Right. So um. So you're loyal. Yeah, I'd say so. So obviously, I feel like if you stay in, you'd obviously be going for me. But no, that's not always true. No, not Maybe always, not always true. true. What about today? True right now? Uh, today, I really don't know what to feel because, as you guys might feel, I don't know the whole story, and I'm really the type of person like if I don't know who did it, like it's not my room to go and like attack people that I think did it. I wait to like find the truth, and I'm not really petty right. until you, I see that you are actively double crossing me and then that's whenever you should fear me. <laughs> yeah. So if you would stay, who would you want a gun for if you stay? Like who would be your one person your next person you'd want to go? To go up? Like, no, to, yeah to like leave the game. To leave the like, game. Let's say you win the next HOH if you stay. Who would who would two people do for that? Well saying that since this is like the first round, I really don't know. I still don't know who people are actually, because in the first round, everybody's putting on this fake face, sending messengers out to do their dirty work. Uh, so I do need like time to see who's good in the next game, because only a few people participated in the game this round. Yeah. And next round, that's whenever everyone participates. So then I need to take into consideration who's good at games, who's athletic, who will win the power of veto if they get the chance. And I haven't really had time to discern that yet. Okay, so what I'm hearing is that like everybody is planning on voting for Austin. That's what I've heard. Because like he has a like big social threat, but I don't know. And so Yeah, but the thing is is like he is like super friendly and right. charismatic. Yeah. So I'm almost kind of nervous that people are gonna say that they're voting for That's him. what I thought, yeah. Like and people are just not. saying that. Yeah. Cause are you did you know Austin before? Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought, because it was like that group of like four of them. Right. Okay. Yeah, and so I think that's probably what hurt us, like coming in and saying that we all knew each other. Mm -hmm. Like I voted to not say who we knew, but yeah, I didn't really know what that meant when I voted. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, like what I'm hearing is that people are voting for Austin, but I don't know. I, I have also heard that. I'm like I don't know if it's true or not. Yeah, the people who came up and talked to me, even like before we did the evictions, were like, um, well, one, I they told me that they were gonna be Jim. Yeah. So I was like, okay, cool. And then um, after that happened and Austin got put up, when we when I was like walking around, people were like, yeah, we're going to vote for Austin. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing, but I just don't have... I don't know. But yeah. We'll see. T. You know, I'm kind of <laughs> sad. I'm really sad that like the girls got put up because there's not that many of us. And so like, I, I, know. I said in my diary that I like thought that we could stick together, but I don't know. Yeah. 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 Did you find that crab yet? Not all of them. Oh, okay. Shit. <laughs> So basically, if someone is the power of YouTube, I can really put a name that I can place my power. Oh, okay. I'm saying that's what I'm saying. I'm not yeah. using it. Oh, uh, yeah, no. I'd say, I'd say, I'd say if, it's just, if it's just a sign that's not a house, we don't want person to house. Or if they're up with my ass. Yeah, and they would be that, and they would be that, that'd be it. But that's the other deal. Yeah. Also. They have to say they're using it. Okay, everyone, it is time for the first eviction ceremony. Austin and Kaylee, you are the strongest final nominee. So at the end of the ceremony, one of you will be leaving the house. But before your fellow house guys cast a vote to evict, you have one final chance to make a plea to your fellow house guys on why they should keep in the game. All right. Okay, so as you guys have seen, like, 20 minutes ago. Um, if you're on my side, like I'm not afraid to really make a fool of myself in order to save you. 
Um, I know that was kind of like a wild card thing of mine, but then again, that just goes to prove like I'll do whatever it takes to keep you here if you're on my good side. Right, so I'm going to take a little bit more of a combative approach here. While Austin has, while he is loyal and he is willing to do whatever it takes to keep you here, what is that saying? Like he's loyal to everybody? That that can't be true. Like you can't be loyal to everybody. So he does have enemies out here, whether you know it or not. He is conspiring against some of you. So I would keep that in the back pocket. Somebody that's friendly to everybody, you should be wary of. So that's all I have to say. I was going to say everybody. Just people that were on my side. You said, what and there's definitely Your someone not on my side. Cut off. All right, thank you both. With that, it is time to. It's hard because I feel like Austin was inspired against, but I also feel like he had his own strong lines going. And I feel that I'm part of a different alliance, so I don't have to vote for Austin. Great. Right. Thank, thank you. Who do you vote to evict? I vote to evict um, Austin. Right. I'd love to vote for both of them, but I vote for Austin. Who do you vote to evict? Austin. All right, thank you, Dash. Send the next person. Um, I am going to vote for Austin. I vote Austin. Hello, Isaac. How you doing? Who do you vote to evict? Austin. Who do you vote to evict? Austin. Who do you vote to evict? I vote to evict Austin, unfortunately. Like, I would be friends with him in real life, but in this house, he's just a big enemy. Um, yeah. Hello, Thomas. Hi. Who do you vote to evict? Austin. Who do you vote to evict? I vote to evict Austin. Who do you vote to evict? I vote to evict Austin. Thank you. Um, Austin and Kaylee, um, once I announce the result of the vote, you each have a few moments to say your goodbyes, pack up your belongings, and walk out this door. Bye, a vote of 12 to 0. Austin, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. Holy shit. Thank you for playing. <laughs> wow, okay. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye Austin. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> he said, what? Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, everyone. Stay here for the next HOA competition.